Hey you guys, it is me, Laura. I'm glad to have you here. Excuse the lighting, this is just what we get today. The room's a mess, the lighting's crazy, but that's all right, that's just life sometimes. So today I wanted to come and tell you a little bit about how our first week went using um, My Father's World Exploring Countries and Cultures, or Exploring Cultures and Countries. I don't know, the ECC cycle. <laughs> I'll put it right in the title. But I was thought I'd share with you how that went, let you know what some of our favorites were from the book basket this week, what I'll be switching out. And because every unit you do like a big switch because you're changing your topics, you're changing where you're going, you're changing um, what ecosystems you're studying about. So I'm probably not gonna do a full book basket update every single week. I'll just kind of let you know a little bit. So this is just going to be a general update and I also had a few questions that I thought I'd go ahead and answer. So let's go. So let's start with how I felt about the program overall. Let me tell you guys, I am loving it. I'm loving it so much more than I thought I would. I have always been so hesitant to do a program that was pre-done and um because I like to write my own stuff. I like to do my own stuff. But you guys, this is perfect for us. And it is better, I think. No, I know better than what I would have created on my own, especially like in a rush and whatever. And I find that having a schedule um, makes me kind of challenge the boys a little bit more, challenge myself a little bit more. And I don't feel like with the schedule, there's a few things that we skipped. I don't feel like it's my master, but I do feel like, um, it does help me to stay on track and challenge me a little bit more. I mean, look at all this. We finished all of this this week and um, there were just a few activities that we didn't do. I didn't think that was possible, but it totally was. And we, and it was no problem. Like it was totally just great. It worked really well. The boys really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> And I think one of my favorite things about this program is just the Christ-centered focus. It is for sure a Christian program. So if you're not a Christian homeschooler, you probably won't be thrilled about this. Um, yeah, because the the science is very Christian. The, the yeah, I mean it's it's very very Christian program. <laughs> so I really actually enjoy that. I thought I would. Sometimes I don't like the tone of programs that are deeply spiritual, deeply Christian, but this one I really like and I am totally on board with it. One of the books that we read this week was um, God Speaks Numagog, and I don't know if I said that right, but basically it's about um, this family who served as missionaries for decades and their quest to get the Bible written in a language that has no written language. So first they had to create the written language and teach it to the people and then they were able to create the Bible. And the reaction of the people the first time that they had a Bible in their own language that God spoke their language, oh, I was crying. It was just a good tone <laughs> to set everything in a really good book, a little book. Um, everyone loved it. It was really good. And um, yeah, we've just been enjoying it's been a lot of setting the stage. So learning the basics of maps and globes and learning the basics of what an ecosystem is and um, just really kind of those basics. We have been doing the, um, we sing, they have, we sing with songs from around the world. We listen to that while we do our chores after lunch and we've been really enjoying that and having a lot of fun. And this week is generally a lighter week, um, but I'd say it went really well. We also went ahead and started a read aloud this week. It's not supposed to start until next week. Um, the read aloud that they have starting at the beginning is called um, Kingdom Tales. And from everything I've read, it's an allegory and it's really better for the older kids. And since I've got um, an eight year old and a five year old, I felt like that probably wouldn't work. So instead we've been reading the, um, the series that they use, the Christian Heroes Then and Now series. Um, they use that for the read alouds, and so we have a bunch of them. So we just picked up the one about me, D.L. Moody, and we're reading through that, and everyone's really enjoying that. So we're really excited. So overall, this is great. We've still got some things that we're working out, especially um, for me. I'm still working some things out with the core subjects for language arts. Um, I am doing logic of English for both boys, 
And for Samuel, I've been really struggling with kind of jimmy rigging my own writing program. So what I decided to do is I went ahead and ordered the primary um, Institute for Excellence in Writing. And I think it's really good because we're going to start with the handwriting portion because he struggles with writing and we'll be able to um, get that down. And then I just am really impressed. To me, writing is something very important. Um, writing is something that comes naturally to me though. So for me to teach it to other people is hard. I can tutor people um, who have, you know, and I can do things like that. But for me to teach it from scratch, I was just really struggling with having the right words and how to explain, okay, this isn't right, but this is. So this program I think is really gonna help and I'm super, super, super excited about it. Um, so yeah, that is where we are there. And as far as the book basket goes, some of the things were changing. I think I mentioned these before. This comes from the um, Big Book of Animals, which is recommended for lower ages. I did not think that my kids would like these and I was right. Um, my youngest picked up the horses one and wanted me to read it in two pages through. He's like, meh, I don't want that. So he did color the, the picture that went with it and was really good. So I don't know, I might put these in, I might not. I'm taking them out for now because they're just causing problems, but um, I don't know if that's something we're gonna continue or not. Um, we did read this book, which both boys really enjoyed. I mentioned this in my last video. Um, and my Timothy has had us read pretty much the same books over and over again. We have this little blue truck book and another one. And I definitely put some books in my book, book basket that are just high interest that are not necessarily related to what we're learning about because I think a love of learning um, and a love of reading is so important in books and stories. So he's been having us read the little blue truck and little blue truck leads the way. And also he specifically, this was not actually in the book basket, we have not looked at this book in forever, but we were sitting at the table the other day and Timothy said, Mommy, do you remember that story about the acorn turned into a big oak tree? Can you please get that? Can we read it? So I went down and got this. This is an allegory from Mac, well, kind of an allegory, an object lesson that Max Licato wrote called The Oak Inside the Acorn. And it is a beautiful story. It's a little bit of a longer read, but it's basically about becoming the person that God created you to be. Um, the oak wasn't sure what he was going to be. Was he going to grow fruit like an orange? Why couldn't he grow fruit like an orange? He wasn't meant to be an orange tree. Well, then he saw all the flowers. Well, maybe I'm supposed to be beautiful and grow beautiful flowers. And he wasn't growing flowers. He didn't know. What am I supposed to be? And then he learned that he was supposed to be strong and tall and provide shade and to hold swings and tree houses and things like that. So, um, it's not about being what other people are or what other people think you need to be, but about um, listening to God's calling on your life. And it's just such a good book. So he had us read this over and over and over again. Probably going to rotate it out though, because I think it's probably time to start reading some other stuff. Um, Samuel has been reading this every single night this week. He calls it his book, um, A Life Like Mine. It's um, DK in association with UNICEF. And it talks about the way things are done around the world. Um, the way different kids live, the way they have health, and it's been really kind of neat, and he just pours over this. He looks at it. Now, we have to be careful. There is a section on war, and there is some about refugees and things like that, and for my youngest, right before bed, which is when we read this, that's just too much for him. He can't handle that, so I've read some of that with my older son kind of by himself at other parts of the day, but that's just something to be aware of with little ones. Some of this content is a bit heavy for the really little ones, but for the most part, it's been really good. And there's been lots of questions. It's led to us pulling out maps and finding things online and um, researching some more stuff. And it's just been a really good conversation starter. There's so much left to this book. I'm gonna leave this in. I'm not gonna change this. So we're gonna keep that in and see if he continues to look at this or if he starts pulling for something else. So another one, we did read Me on the Map. We read this one time. I feel like that was probably good for the boys. I think they're probably done. So I'm going to rotate this out. But this is just a fun story where you look at where you are on the map and you start in your room and you go to a map of your house and you go to a map of your street, then your city and it goes out and out and talks about how every map, you know, you can look and try and, uh, not every map, obviously, but find where you are. Everybody has a place on a map, and so you can find your place on your map. So we did this, and we also watched the Reading Rainbow um, 
the book Someplace Else, which we love, was the main book. And then it also featured this book and a couple of the other books that are in this book basket that I shared last week. So we watched The Reading Rainbow on Amazon Prime that went with that and the boys really enjoyed that as well. And the other thing that I'm adding in um, that I didn't really share about this last week, and this video is going to be a little long, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just got a couple more things. But um, we, my husband and I, when we got married, um, a few years after we got married, we were able to start sponsoring some children from Compassion International. And just recently, one of our kids graduated, which is so cool. We have been sponsoring him for 10 years, and it's neat to see that he has finished the program and um, that he's going to be on his own now. And um, it's just been a really neat experience. So we thought that it would be good to, um, Compassion has a program where you can set up your account so that there's a financial sponsor and then there's also a correspondent. And the, this is specifically set up so that kids can write letters to the kids while their parents are paying for the sponsorship. So we've set up an account for each of our children and they both picked out children that are around their age that they can start um, communicating with and encouraging um, throughout our program. So they each have their new child and they, we got a book about them and where they live, kind of what's going on. And so I've put that in the book basket so that we can look over it, so that we can pray for them and um, learn a little bit about where they're from. They're both from Bolivia. So um, we've been learning a little bit about Bolivia too, but this is something that's really, I like putting in our book basket. And I think as we get letters um, from the exchange and stuff like that, or any new information, I'll put that in our book basket for them as well. So that is, and it goes really well with what we're studying. So that's fun. So that is what we have right now. And then now I'm just going to answer, well, you know what, I think I'll do this in another video. I think I'll go ahead and split this up and have two videos for you this week. But that's kind of how it went and what's in our book basket. And yeah, really excited. I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know if you have any questions below. Bye.